Hello, you're watching the news bulletin on Bangal from another headlines as usual. Vietnamese top leaders receive Cambodian National Assembly President. Prime Minister chairs national meeting on COVID-19 prevention and control. And later on, royal churches unveiled in Hanoi. President of the Cambodian National Assembly, Samdek Ham Samrin, is paying a three-day official visit to Vietnam. On September 13, the Cambodian guest was received by Vietnamese top leaders. Welcoming President Hang Samrin, Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Chang expressed his pleasure at the growing cooperation relationship between two sides of the time. Vietnam always supports the development of Cambodia, Chang said, adding that Vietnam also thanks Cambodia for its valuable support and help given to Vietnam so far. The party chief also emphasized the importance of the relationship between the three countries of Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia, and wish that they will continue working together to preserve and cultivate the ties. President Hang Samrin thanked the host leader and expressed his belief that Vietnam will continue to achieve more new achievements in the time to come. He affirmed that Cambodia will continue working with Vietnam to protect, preserve and enhance their relationship to new highs and pass on this good relationship to future generations. During his reception for Cambodian National Assembly President Hang Samrin, President Nguyen Xuân Phúc spoke highly of achievements in cooperation between legislatures of the two countries of the past years. Phúc suggested that the two countries maintain the exchange of high-level visits and cooperation mechanisms via all channels. Hang Samrin for his past trust that the Cambodian legislature always stands side by side with Vietnam. As this year marks the 55th anniversary of diplomatic ties, he wished the two countries' relevant agencies will hold practical activities to foster their traditional friendship. The Cambodian party and people always remember the dedication and sacrifice by Vietnamese voluntary soldiers and experts in their struggle for national liberation from Pol Pot genocide regime. On the same day, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính hosted a reception for President of the Cambodian National Assembly, Hang Samrin. The two leaders highly appreciated the successful coordination between two sides in organizing many activities within the framework of the Vietnam-Cambodia Friendship Year 2022. They agreed to continue to work together to prevent cross-border crimes and try to fulfill instruments of the remaining landmarks along the joint borderline. Prime Stitching asked the National Assembly and Government of Cambodia to continue to pay attention to and create conditions for Vietnamese people and businesses in Cambodia. On this occasion, Ching also thanked the Cambodian side for successfully helping to rescue many Vietnamese citizens who were scammed and forced to work at illegal business establishments in Cambodia. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ching on September 13 chaired the 17th meeting of the National Steering Committee for COVID-19 Prevention and Control, which gathered participants from the 63 provinces and cities across the country. Addressing the virtual session, Ching, who is also head of the committee, highlighted the importance of issuing the government's resolution on making Vietnam respond to the pandemic more flexible. He said it was key to the work and to social economic recovery and development. Given the current complicated developments of the pandemic, the government leader requested competence agencies and localities to come up with measures to tackle a state of neglect as well as slow vaccination progress. The committees warned of the pandemic's unpredictable developments in the world and underscored the need to boost vaccination, still a vital solution. According to a report of the committees at the function, in the past seven days from September 5th to 11th, an average of about 2,900 new cases were posted daily, with the number of infections being on the rise again. The day for honoring the Vietnamese language in Vietnamese communities abroad on September 8th helps to promote the language and affirm Vietnam's position in the world. This is a Vietnamese language class in Sydney, Australia. Games and fighters from Vietnam plus the kids' engagement. Learning the language helps me speak Vietnamese with my parents and grandparents. 
with more than 300,000 people. The Vietnamese community in Australia accounts for over 1.2% of its population. Vietnamese is among the four most spoken languages in the country. Vietnamese families have tried to teach their mother tongue to their offspring. My parents want to communicate with their grandchildren but can't speak English. I therefore hope my children can learn Vietnamese to strengthen the bond with their grandparents. September 8 has been designated as a day for honoring the Vietnamese language in the Vietnamese communities abroad as a step to promote the country's language and culture among international friends and also to oversee Vietnamese. Amidst the development of digital technology, more innovative teaching methods are required to bring the mother tongue closer to oversee Vietnamese, contributing to enhancing national solidarity. A planting area called or production unit called is for any facility or business in the production of food that needs to be uniquely identified. The agriculture sector and farmers in the Mekong Delta are now focusing on building production unit calls for key fruit to boost exports. To produce durian qualify for export to markets of potential, including China, the agricultural sector and farmers in Longman province have been setting goals for growing areas and establishing quality standards and regulations on plant quarantine and food safety. Setting up area crops has created favorable conditions for farmers to grow fruits and for agricultural products to be officially exported to the Chinese market at higher prices. According to Long An's agricultural sector, in order to be granted a planting area code, durian growers must meet standards on quarantine, food safety, COVID-19 prevention, and production records, among others. We coordinate with the plant quarantine station at Border Gates to regularly monitor information on cross for planting areas. If there are any doubts, shipments will be stopped for inspection. Long Man Province, for example, has been granted 213 planting area codes to date for a total area of over 17,800 hectares. They are mostly for dragon fruit, bananas, watermelons, mangoes, and other fruit going to key export markets such as China, the Republic of Korea, the U.S. and the EU. Setting up planting area codes will create the conditions needed for exporting fruit to China and elsewhere around the world through official channels, contributing to improving product value, raising local farmers' incomes, having built a sustainable agricultural sector. In addition to its globally renowned ST25 fragrant rice, Vietnam's ST25 rice line has also received five-star certification. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has presented National One Commute One Product or All Cove certification to 20 high-quality Vietnamese products, including SD24 fragrant rice. Three years after winning second prize at the World Best Rice Contest, SD24 Fragrant Rice has now secured five-star certification. This provides motivation for relevant units and businesses to promote local specialties while attracting more investors and generating jobs in rural areas. Hanoi has selected 29 outstanding artifacts from among the millions honored at Thang Long Imperial Citadel to introduce to the public. On display are important utensils and items for use from daily life to banquets of the emperor and the court on important occasions. This exhibition has also introduced several pieces of jewelry, utensils decorated in gold and utensils and swords symbolizing power or imperial orders. Through valuable and unique antics, we hope that people will understand more about the city and the country's history. The exhibition also aims to promote the 1,000 years old imperial treasures of Hanoi in particular and of Vietnam in general.
In particular, this is the first time 3D mapping projection technology will stimulate the unique patterns of artifacts has been introduced so that visitors can better recognize the beauty and elegance of the ceramics used at Thang Long Royal Palace. The exhibition features intriguing spaces, helping exhibition goers immerse themselves in a different historical time in the country. The use of artistic lighting and 3D mapping technology has created an attractive effect, helping the public feel the beauty and special value of the royal treasures. The artifacts are divided into three exhibition spaces, a space to introduce artifacts from dynasties and a space for artifacts introduced to the public for the first time, such as the largest Chuan dynasty terracotta pose ever and a green animal architecture model from the early Lei dynasty. A love market festival has taken place in Bao Lak district in the northernmost province of Gao Bang, giving visitors an insight into the unique market. Hospitality is a locality to domestic and foreign tourists. Activities included introducing artworks about Bao Lak, tourism promotions for non nuk Gao Bang, access from ritual festivals, typical cultural activities, and the traditional handicraft of ethnic minority groups. Goods at the festival also introduced one Camille, one product goods from Balak district. The festival was an opportunity for tourists to visit the Lolo ethnic community cultural village in Khoi Khun Kamlet, Kim Kup Kamil, and Khoi Kup Cha Mountain Pass, the Don Domu National Historical Site in Sun Chun Kamil, and a known family mansion, among others. Vietnam has been listed in the world's 10 most incredible destinations, which are surprisingly cheap to visit by Canadian travel magazine The Traveler, along with Laos and Indonesia. Vietnam is among the cheapest countries to visit and among the most underrated, the magazine said. Eating local dishes will only cost you a few dollars per meal, and a cup of iced coffee is less than a dollar. The drink has become an indispensable part of Vietnamese daily life in recent years, with millions starting their day with a cough in the morning. The travel also recommended tourists to explore Vietnam by bus or train with cheap fares. If visitors don't mind slow and long-distance travel, then buses and trains around Vietnam are among the most affordable in the world, making it easy to explore all of this beautiful country. Through the many ups and downs of history, the outside traditional long grass has been imprinted on the minds of Vietnamese as the national outfit. Meanwhile, the outside ngụ thân, five flap long grass, which is considered the forerunner to the outside, has fallen into oblivion. In 2020, Images of public servants wearing five flap long dresses at work went viral on social media and the wearers received a degree of criticism. Many young people felt the office were old-fashioned and not appropriate for the workplace. Many people do not understand the meaning of the long dress, which is a part of our country. When we conducted research on the five flap long dress, we found that we have been neglectful of our heritage. The five panel outside took shape in the mid 18th century in the way court of Lord Nguyen Phu Cut. Beyond nobility, people from all walks of life wore the five flap long dress. As time passed, the traditional outfit was replaced by a more convenient version. There is diversity in the clothing that Vietnamese people wear. But we need to pay attention to preserving the traditional outfits, like the outside. The five flap outside has five buttons, symbolizing the five constant virtues, kindness, decorum, uprightness, wisdom, and faithfulness. Are the five moral obligations, king and subject, father and child, husband and wife, brothers and sisters, and friends. The outside is not only the national outfit, but also has rich historical and cultural values. The way it is worn, especially the outside for men, demonstrates characteristics such as modesty, discretion, 
and this of the wearer. And that's wrap up on this bulletin. Thanks for watching. As soon as time.